Hi again, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. Um, in this video, it's going to be a somewhat advanced video. We're going to show you the stamp managed data file. And the stamp managed data file controls all the text data you enter in the program and it contains the stamp managed database, etc. So, anyways, to, to take a look at the file, an easy way to do that is just from the pr program select File, go to Data Folder. And you see here the stamp data Microsoft Access type file. That is the stamp managed data folder. Now the file is currently locked until I exit the program, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now what I can do, and you have to have Microsoft Access to do this, so if you're interested in Microsoft Access, uh, Microsoft has a pretty nice uh, inexpensive Office 360, Office 365 plan. I think it's like $80 a year. It's uh, pretty nice if uh, if you need it. So anyway, so I'm going to open the data file and to do that. All I need to do is double click on stamp data and it's going to bring up Microsoft Access. Now click on enable content. Now what you see here are the tables in in uh, stamp manage and I'll show you first of all the countries table. Here's the countries table and this what we did a couple years ago is we added every country or stamp issuing entity in the stu in, in all the st Scott catalogs. We went through the entire Scott catalogs entered every every um, country or stamp issuing entity so um, you should not have to add a country and there should not be a country that you find uh, that is not in the database and um, in addition to that under the types types are basically categories we added every type that was in all the Scott catalogs so for example uh, you know United States uh, air mail uh, United States uh, parcel post etc everyone we could see in the Scott catalogs should be in this types table so you should not have to enter a new category I mean you can create your own new categories if you want uh, just specific to you but um, if you're just going by the Scott catalogs you don't have to do anything so uh, another note about the countries list you notice here the country ID and what this does is it corresponds with a folder that contains the images for that country. So let's say Honduras. Uh, if we go back into Stamp Manage and select File, go to Stamp Manage Images folder, you see here uh, this is a list of all the folders, and each one of them is a numbered folder that corresponds with the country that it represents. So. Leave Honduras is number three. Click on three, and then we see all the images for stamp managed there. So that's how it finds what images to show for a particular country. So let me exit the program again. Now we've got some other tables here. Um, collections. Every time you add a new collection, it's going to add an entry to this this table. Uh, it's there's a couple of predefined. Uh, collections I guess you can call them. Uh, the deleted stamps uh, has the type 666 so uh, that that it basically is the type the type of the folder which says this is a deleted folder you can only really have one of them. Uh, same with want list we got 7777 is the type and we had a couple of cu uh, customers ask if we can have multiple want lists and we're looking at doing that but for right now you just have a single want list. Um, sold stamps is again a predefined number 999 so these three are are pretty much predefined folder and um, uh, my collection is type 1 collection ID 15 and 1 means it's just a regular collection folder so every time you add a new collection uh, it's going to add a new entry here with a type 1 and, uh, and a random collection ID as well uh, countries to show if if you've um, if you don't want to see all the countries, there's a massive amount of countries in the, as you can, as I'm sure you're you're well aware. Uh, and if you don't want to see all the countries, you can specify which ones you don't want to see. So, for example, uh, back again into Stamp Manage. Do this from the Tools, Tools Preferences, Countries. See, 
it's telling right now we're telling the country to show every country or stamp issue you're going to do you can always uh, if you just want to select a few you can countries to work with you can select unselect all uh, obviously if you just get the stamp manage usa or stamp manage canada that that's not going to be a problem so customers um if we right mouse click and select the design view you can see the field structure for each table so uh, for the customers list we have a the usual uh, type of fields name address city region etc same with dealers grading service grading services my collection this is an important table what my collection contains is all the data you entered into the program so every time you enter a stamp into inventory it's going to show up here now this differs from the database um, the varieties table is a database of all the stamp varieties that you can pick from in stamp manage so if I open this click varieties you'll see 311,000 listings and you can see here all the text data for the stamp database perforation variety all sorts of things we've got the uh, country ID yeah see the country ID is again a number which maps to the country table you saw earlier same with the uh, type ID there's a type ID which maps with the type ID in the types table here uh, stamp prefixes um, what this does is we looked at all the possible stamp prefixes that you can find and I think we covered pretty much all of them all of the stamp prefixes you'll see in Scott catalog and we use this in various different ways in the program for example if you enter a new stamp um, with a prefix C we'll assume that it's an air post and uh, go put it in the air post section um, and so this comes in handy in several different places within the program uh, what else we have here sets when you add a when you add a set to a program or make, make it a uh, member of a certain set then um, you'll see entries in this table uh, notebook items attachments every time you attach something to an, a stamp for example here are some of the predefined attachments we have in the program and each attachment has a uh, entry in the attachments table so so I think that about covers it um, oh we got a value table so sorry value table for, for each uh, value table in the program you can have more than one uh, this is the 2016 edition so uh, you're gonna see a uh, name 2016 and uh, for each value table you're going to see the table name and in the actual table itself each stamp which has a value For each variety which has values, you'll see the Scott number, type ID, and various values for different conditions, different you know, FDC, PNC strip, line pair, etc., etc. So uh, that's a brief overview of the stamp data. Uh, as you can see, it's not a, encrypted. This is a totally open data file, and that's important because if you ever need to export your data to another uh, for example to a spreadsheet it's very simple to do even without the program um, so that's it for now thank you for watching take care and bye bye